first of four, the family of a teacher in Westchester County demanding answers from a school district following her death. Karen Johnson died last week of COVID-19. She was a teacher in New Rochelle, but pre-existing medical conditions uh, put her at a higher risk of infection. And now her family questions why administrators, uh, administrators didn't allow her to teach from home. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Joe Torres. Robert Johnson and his son Robert Jr. have each other to lean on. Last week, COVID-19 claimed the life of their beloved wife and mother, Karen Johnson, a special ed teacher at the Albert Leonard Middle School in New Rochelle. She loved um, the kids that she worked with, every one of them. She, there's nothing she wouldn't do for them. This, this district knows that. Mr. Johnson knew the coronavirus could have fatal consequences for his 57-year-old wife. She suffered from asthma. She struggled with her weight. Her family showed us the correspondence Mrs. Johnson wrote last August to the city school district. It included this note from her doctor that read, in part, every reasonable accommodation should be made to allow this patient to work from home. The family also showed us the acting superintendent's response that came two months later. He wrote, the district is denying your request for an accommodation to work remotely, adding the district would be unable to ensure equity of instruction for all students across all classes, grade levels and buildings. This was the one time we asked for anything from the school district or from anyone in the city. And I feel like they turned their back on us and I lost my mother because of it. The Johnsons cannot prove their loved one contracted the coronavirus here at the middle school, but they say Mrs. Johnson was extra diligent about practicing safety protocols wherever she went, even at home. We believe that her working remotely and staying home would have prolonged her life and them forcing her back to work. That. You know, it, it was a risky situation. When asked for comment today, a district spokesperson told us it would be inappropriate and unlawful to disclose medical information regarding a staff member. A family-only virtual funeral service for Karen Johnson is scheduled for Friday.